Okay, we're going to talk about uh, the two things that we uh, spoke about last week, weathering and erosion. And those are the ways that uh, rocks uh, change on the surface of the earth. So the first one is weathering. And weathering is a change in the rock, okay, or a change in the surface of the earth. So we have to remember it's a change. And a change can be caused by, um, I'm sure you saw in the book, the tree roots uh, that grow through the rock and break it. So they get broken. Um, the rocks get broken. Um, remember we talked about ice, how ice expands when it, uh, or water expands when it freezes. And when it expands, um, it can also break rock. And it's pretty phenomenal when uh, the picture in the textbook, that huge rock that uh, broke uh, because the water seeped into it and froze. And when water freezes, it expands. So the ice can break rock. We also talked about um, the weather, uh, wearing it down, water and um, wind and um, other, um, like wind with uh, sand in it will wear down rock and make it smooth. And if you guys remember the video we saw, um, the Appalachian Mountains, uh, do you remember it showed how high they used to be um, hundreds of thousands of years ago? And now they're quite low compared to what they used to be like. So they got worn down by the weather. Um, animals and humans use um, of mountains uh, can also um, actually use of the earth. Uh, so if we walk across it or animals walk across it, um, it gets worn down. Okay, so a change um, can consist of um, rock breaking, getting worn down from weather, um, water is uh, one of the biggest causes of the brain uh, of change. Water runs over um, rock and uh, essentially wears it out, wears it down, smooths it out. And um, if you guys ever have looked in a stream or um, a river, um, the, the water is always moving in a stream or a river. And what happens is, is there's a whole bunch of rocks, and they can be like jagged rocks or smooth rocks and as the water moves along it moves the rocks um, over one another and they rub against one another over time and that rubbing of water and other rocks against one another tends to smooth out the rocks and that's why you always see river rocks are really nice and smooth and in some places they're almost like glass because they've been um, you know, rubbed against one another and the waters run over them for such a long period of time. So that's um, weathering that causes those nice smooth rocks. Um, another thing that um, we talked about, um, about how the earth changes, is erosion. And erosion is the movement of um, rocks and the earth. Uh, one of the uh, finest examples here in Florida is if you think about the beaches, we have these beautiful beaches and the water comes in and as the tides come in and go back, what they do is they take the sand back down into the ocean and uh, that's erosion because the sand is moving from our beaches back into the oceans. So we lose a chunk of our, um, our beach every year and we're always fighting beach erosion. Um, in mountainous regions, the same type of thing happens. Uh, weather and, and gravity is working against the mountains. So let's say here's a valley and here's some mountains. And, you know, the wind will blow and rain will fall. And rocks will get uh, moved. And as they get moved, because they're weathered, there might be tree trunks breaking them off, they start to roll down the hill. And that rolling down will cause them probably to collect in the in the valley and you know you might end up with some sedimentary rock down there that we talked about from our last uh, uh, lesson and so these rocks will move uh, down the mountain because of gravity uh, will move them 
water and uh, landslides, the, the ground gets very soft um, when it rains. So these are the kinds of things that happen on the surface of the earth daily. This stuff happens over the course of, you know, tens of millions of years, but it's happening a little bit at a time. Uh, so we get movement daily. And uh, don't forget we talked about um, how the continental plates are moving too. It's a terrible attempt to, to draw, um, let's say just um, Africa, for example. And um, do you remember we talked about that it used to fit right inside of Europe and Asia? because we could show you on the map that it used to fit. And this movement, this, these continental plates getting moved, they're happening daily as well. And as the oceans go up against the land, they actually are eroding the land, so they're, they're moving the land back into the ocean. So this kind of thing is happening every day. So erosion is movement and <clears throat> weathering is changing by breaking or wearing down. So if you can remember those two clues, uh, that should help you determine, uh, you know, if they give you an example of erosion, you, you know that, um, well, if, it, if the, uh, the rock is moving, then it's erosion. If the rock is changing, like uh, breaking or wearing down, uh, then it's weathering.